Uh, still looking at statistics here today, we're looking at measures of spread. That is how spread out data is. Uh, are all the numbers really, really close together? Are all the numbers really, really spread out? That's what we're talking about when we're talking about measures of spread. Now there's two particular measures of spread. There's range, first of all, and then there's interquartile range. Okay, big, big word here, interquartile range. Uh, now there's some other measures of spread as well, standard deviation and variance, but you guys aren't going to deal with those. So range, interquartile range, there are two methods. Now range is very, very simple, but people stuff this up. So listen very, very carefully. Range is a single number. It's a single number. Now sometimes people would say the data ranges between two and nine. The range is actually not between two and nine. It's a single number. So the formula for the range is highest number minus lowest number. Okay, so uh, that should be fairly straightforward here. I'll just put my numbers in order. So you can see my highest number is nine and my lowest number is two. Nine minus two. So the range is equal to seven. Okay, very, very important that you understand that the range is a single number, it's the number seven. If I ask you in an exam, what is the range? I don't want to hear nine to two. I want to hear the number seven, one minus the other. Now the interquartile range is just a little more difficult, I suppose. The interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Now you'll remember that Q1 and Q3, that's the first quartile and the third quartile. Now if I quickly jump through here, first of all I find my median, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here's my median. Now my Q1 is here at 3.5 and my Q3 is here at 8.5. So Q3, 8.5, minus Q1, 3.5. My interquartile range is 5. Now again, interquartile range is a single number. If I ask you what the interquartile range of something is, I don't want to hear 8.5 to 3.5. I want to hear that single number. Q3 minus Q1 is equal to the number 5. So uh, we have looked at measures of central tendency where you take a number and try to figure out a single number to represent your data set. This is a measure of spread. Range and interquartile range, they both tell us how spread out your data is. Uh, that's what these things are for, I guess. Okay, so that's how you find the range, that's how you find the interquartile range. These were measures of spread.